Ali Abdal is the world's most followed productivity expert. And this is how he plans his week. Ideal ordinary week. The ideal week method. Ideal ordinary week. Ideal week calendar. Ideal day or your ideal week look like. What does an ideal ordinary week in your life look like? The perfect week exercise has been one of his favorites for ages and it's really amazing. And sure, you could do it with pen and paper or struggle your way through Google Calendar. But how amazing would it be if you had an automated system in Notion that did this for you? So here's how it works. We start by adding all the activities of our perfect week in Notion. First the big picture stuff and then a breakdown of all the individual things that we plan on doing. Then we use Notion Calendar to time block our week so we see exactly when we want to do what. And then we go through our actual week and track all the activities from our planned perfect week to see, well, do we actually do them? And if yes, how long? Last but not least, once we're done with everything, we can review exactly how much time we spend on our different buckets, whether we, you know, actually planned uh, our days in the right way or, you know, where has a huge disconnect between what we said we wanted to do, for example, here on Friday, on Thursday, right? Nothing happened like what I wanted to do on Thursday here. It's just not there. And then last but not least, also see like just a day by day breakdown of all our activities for that perfect week. First, let's plan out your perfect week. I want to think about the big picture stuff in my life. So what are the bigger categories of where I want to spend my time? And I've already added a bunch like exercise, relationships, hobbies, mental health, personal development, and then work and social media. And as you can see, I also have a type, right? Certain activities I want to maximize. So if I spend more on them than I initially scheduled for my perfect week, that's even better. And others, I want to like minimize the time I spend on them. And let's just add one more to show you how it works. So I can just press the button or go in there. So let's uh, do this, say a new button, a bucket. And this one would be, um, let's say, uh, baking bread. Because recently I very much enjoyed baking bread. With all of them set up, I can then move on and think out, okay, when do I actually want to do all these different activities in my week? And uh, in this example, we can just start by adding the different uh, things. And we will then, in the second step, uh, schedule them actually in our calendar. But let's say, okay, workouts, I have two in there so far, but uh, I want to have like actually uh, every week, I want to, you know, work out um, three times. And then I also want to make sure that, let's say we had baking bread, right? So I, you know, baked, uh, bake one new loaf. We also had some other activities in there. What was it like? So we had like mental health. Uh, so that's like definitely a good idea. Let's so do let's add some medi uh, meditation one, and uh, I want to meditate at least five times a week. So I'm gonna uh, duplicate this a few times. So meditation one, meditation two, three, four, and five. And then just because we uh, have to, should also probably work a bit. But let's actually I focus on deep work session. So uh, I want to oops deep work. I want to work at least, uh, you know, thrice a week, uh, more focused on in-depth things rather than just like shallow activities. And after I've added these different activities, I can just, you know, quickly assign them to my activity bucket. So, okay, workout number three, that was uh, exercise. The bake the one new loaf um, was baking bread. Then we have a bunch of meditation ones for mental health. Da -da -da -da. Just going to expand it like this to quickly fill it. And then deep work, that would be um, for work. And of course, I could now, if I wanted to, um, expand uh, these files, right, add for all of the activities. But just for this quick example of how a perfect week exercise can work in Notion, I think this is good enough. Next, we use a new Notion calendar to time block your activities. So let's go ahead with this and let's open this in calendar. And in a moment, uh, Notion calendar should pop up. And there we go. Just need to do one last thing to make sure that they all show up here and don't need to go looking for them. I just need to click on reset planning blocks that will make sure that all of them are scheduled for uh, today. And now if I go back to uh, the Notion calendar, in a second, they will pop up here. And here they are. So now I can just drag these blocks into my week to actually plan it. So let's assume in my perfect week, I want to uh, definitely have so meditation, right? So let's say uh, during the week, I want to meditate uh, always at uh, 10. So I'm just going to grab uh, all my meditation blocks here. Da -da -da. They are all fairly short. Oops, <laughs> small visual bug. <laughs> this one here uh, and this one here and then and this one. Yeah, sometimes uh, the the drag and drop <laughs> still uh, plays around a bit, so need to make sure where you where you actually want to drop it. Um, bake one new loaf of bread. That will actually probably happen Friday and Saturday, and it takes quite a while. Um, not really active time, but still want to make sure that you know, like uh, we have to correct time as set here. So I'll just drag and drop it uh, to account for that. Then our workouts are um, workouts will happen. Uh, let's say on uh, in the afternoon, uh, Monday. Wednesday 
and uh, Friday. So let's drag workout here. Oops, that's workout actually number three. So I'm just gonna drag it there. Doesn't really matter right which number you, you drag um, uh, where, but for the sake of the um, <laughs> the precision <laughs> afterwards, it's still nice to have it accurate. Da -da -da. And then uh, workout two. All right, perfect. All right, I dragged the other blocks in here and then also just realized for my perfect week, I should of course hide all my other calendars. So I went in there and hit uh, all other entries so that now with the only ones that I actually see are the ones that I, yeah, oh, this is how I basically want to live my perfect week, right? at least part of it uh, for this demonstration. Now with that done, we can head back to Notion and see now that our up database here updated automatically and shows us now the, um, the entries pretty much the same way, just like, you know, with less uh, detail on the different hours here. And we can now then go down there and actually review, okay, when did we plan on doing all these things? So I see, okay, on Monday, I plan on doing one workout, one meditation from uh, 2 to 4.15 and from 10 to 10.30, I see how long it takes right, and what bucket it belongs. And I can go through this and now review my whole week uh, for all the different activities and see, okay, this is how I actually plan to spend my time. Can of course, if I wanted to also see the totals uh, for each day, right, uh, up to how many hours that accumulates or accounts, but uh, with the other thing we should see. Then we can also see if there are any like entries left, you know, that don't have any time slot, just so we make sure that our perfect week really is completely planned. All right, now it's time to test your dream against reality. Head on over to the second section to set up your time tracking. Now for tracking, we use another one of Notion's recent feature releases that is really, really cool, and that's database buttons. Because they allow us to build this like simple but effective time tracking feature directly into the system. So let's say um, this, um, this view shows me all the activities for the day, right? Today's Wednesday, I had these three blocks here, and let's say I'm actually currently meditating. So let's click on start here and jumps to, okay, is tracking, and it starts filling out here the duration, right? I started at uh, 3, 5, uh, 13 on Wednesday. Now, this is updating live. So in a minute, this will jump to 15, 14, and so on and so on. Uh, so I see like, you know, as I'm doing it, the actual duration uh, ticking up, <laughs> if uh, that's something I care about. Alternatively, I can of course always say, well, you know, these are the three things I had planned for the day, but things don't always go as planned. So I'm actually baking bread today. So I can always jump into my different uh, categories and say, baking bread, you know, uh, baking this loaf, that's currently happening. So I'm st clicking on start here as well, just to make sure the tracker uh, is running and if I forgot to track something in the moment, because of course this is nice if I'm sitting in front of the computer, but things have more so uh, outside of it, I can always, you know, update it for manual tracking. So I can say, well, Tuesday I did have dinner with friends. So I had dinner with friends on uh, Tuesday and da -da -da, they, uh, you know, started at, da -da -da, um, let's say we went for dinner at uh, maybe 8 uh, p.m. quite late and then, uh, you know, lasted until um, 10. Uh, PM. So this is something where, of course, unfortunately, we can't get around. Although we could uh, also have it in 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 the calendar if we want to, uh, you know, assign the time blocks retrospectively, or here like this, and then calculate. Oops, uh, that's on the 26th, then time is on the fifth, <laughs> and then we see our actual duration, two hours. Perfect. And if you wanted to, we could also set this to track, but it doesn't really matter. This is more like for us to help it uh, help us see which tracker is running unless uh, afterwards. If we scroll on further down the page, we also see our calendar with all the different entries that we, you know, uh, that have some time values. The uh, And we could also see, like, you know, the live updating time here. So meditation will jump to uh, a minute uh, in a moment. Unfortunately, what doesn't work uh, yet is that we see also these live updates in Notion Calendar. What we can do is we can, of course, open this different view, so the activity view, not the planning view, in Notion Calendar. So with a click uh, and a short delay, it should start popping up and we see now we have here a dinner with friends uh, we have of course also our ideal week but we can you know hide that and then we only see our planned week and then from our planned week we have that but you see meditation doesn't shop and that's because unfortunately right now if you calculate uh, a duration with a formula that relies on the now property like you know what we're doing to you know, show okay like how uh, for the life update then it doesn't appear here. I hope they fix it soon because I thought, think it would be really cool if you, you know, see actually all your time bars <laughs> running around in Notion, live updating as you do the activities. But until then, you have to wait until you're finished with something and then it will pop up here. So let's actually quickly set meditation to done and then we see how it shows up here. So quickly going back and uh, going back to the top to our meditation activity and let's say stop tracking. And now we see, okay, uh, it stopped it. It says, okay, we have done this, you know, for four minutes. <laughs> so, uh, uh, not really a long time, but at least, you know, it's something. And if we go back to our calendar in a second, this will show up here. Ah, there is a very small <laughs> sliver, of course, of meditation because we didn't meditate for long. But still, like, so you see how then as you go through your actual week, not a perfect week, you have this other calendar view that starts populating and show, show you, you know, like, okay, this is how you actually spend your time. 
Ah, one last thing. Of course, when we go from, you know, our perfect week to our actual week, there will be a lot of unplanned activities that we didn't account for initially. So we can just quickly add them with the click of this button. So if I click new unplanned activity, it will add it to today. So Wednesday night unplanned activity. And I can just say, well, what was this about? I actually did film a YouTube video. So filmed, oops, YouTube video, uh, which I definitely wanted to do. Um, so let's assign this quickly to the bucket. This is work. Uh, and I started today uh, at Let's say this was, uh, I started at, I think, oof, let's say 10 a.m. and I ended it uh, at uh, 12, uh, like 1 p.m. And now I have my three hour time slot in there for the YouTube video in the final calendar, even though I didn't initially uh, plan it in my perfect week. Once you track your whole week, you can then show both things side by side, right? So if I uh, show both my database, I can see, okay, this is what I set out to do. These are my blue fields and then my orange ones are the ones where I actually did the activity. So dinner with friends, uh, by accident, I actually put, did it exactly when I wanted to. But meditation, of course, is something very, somewhere very different and I didn't do any of the other blocks <laughs> of my perfect week. Alternatively, I can go back to Notion and have also like here uh, a last page in this template to review my results and can just quickly check, okay, this is my breakdown, right? So I see, okay, for my uh, break, uh, baking bread thing, I wanted to spend 18 hours on it. So far, 0.08 hours are gotta bake a few more breads uh, to uh, get to there and so on and so on, right? So I'll see all my calendars and depending on whether I actually wanted to spend more time on them or less on them, I'll see, okay, uh, I get like the different, um, you know, uh, uh, time slots uh, current. So if I had for social media, you know, I set two hours and then it was like actually, uh, you know, zero, that would be green instead of red. Uh, I like work, you know, it is 7.5 less <laughs> hours that I worked than intended. So that's great. Although my boss might disagree. Uh, and yeah, so here, you have also below that a perfect and actual week breakdown, right? So we can, can compare, okay, exactly how did your days uh, compare? Although I just realized there's a filter missing, so I need to, to fix that quickly. So here, instead of showing all the entries, we only want to show the entries where da, 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 our um, the uh, da, 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 the uh, actual duration, you know, is not uh, zero. So actual duration is not zero otherwise <laughs> all things pop up there it's of course not what we want so now that we've done it yeah now we have the actual new way okay monday we and actually only the workout on tuesday we only did dinner with friends and wednesday only limitation and so on and so on and then at the very bottom we have also a day-by-day -day, um view where we see okay so uh, the workout one right that was a planned activity uh, we wanted to, to do it from 2 to 4 15 uh, we had our um dinner with friends uh scheduled for two hours actually done for two hours so that's great um, and so on and so on. So we can at a glance see, right? Like, did we do it? Did we not do it? And then for how long? So there you have it. A fun, insightful and interactive perfect week exercise in Notion. If you want to do this exercise yourself, check out the link in the description or build this approach yourself with the tools available. And if this got you all excited for Notion Calendar, but you don't know quite where to start, well, I've got you covered. Here is a quick start guide with everything you need to know. Just click here and I will see you in a second.